Right. And so I, I have argued as, a, as an evolutionist that the, I would say the, uh, the job of a parent is to mirror the environment that the child will mature Absolutely. into so that when they get there, they have the software that is an appropriate match for it. And a lot of uh, mental health issues come down to a mismatch between the software that your developmental environment produced and the environment you actually live in. And that can happen. That's why you shouldn't be nicer to your children than the world is. In fact, you're doing them a disservice. That's the devouring yep. mother from the psychoanalytic perspective. Right. And this gets into some very uncomfortable territory. What, you know, what does good, if you're a slave, if you're born into slavery and you produce children, how should you parent them? Should you protect them from well, you know, I would say, all of the implications look, of slavery? Presumably let's go through not. this stage idea again, because there's three stages, I think. There's, there's the, the egocentric stage where the child is manifesting multiple identities, self-defined and playing. Then and that's under the protection of parents. The parents put up a walled enclosure, so to speak, within which the child can do that experimentation. Then the child meets the world of peers. That happens between the ages of four and the ages of 17, 18, something like that. And that's when your identity has to uh, expand to include others in a cooperative and negotiated way. You have to man manage competition and cooperation, and your identity becomes socialized. And then there's a stage beyond that, I would say, where you kind of pop out of that socialization and you're no longer necessarily a member of the group. It's like a self-actualized person, That's in, although I don't like that phrase. The self-actualization theorists thought to some degree in this manner, once you're done with your apprenticeship, you can become post-apprentice and then you can take control of your own destiny to some degree independently of your peers. So hopefully you can get to there. But, and so that's part of the answer to the slavery um, conundrum. You know, you should be a good member of your group, but you shouldn't only be that. Well, I, th I think there are two different questions. The, the slavery issue is the very uncomfortable idea that if a parent is supposed to mirror the adult environment that a child will have to get along in, then a person whose children will mature into an arbitrary environment needs to understand that it's an arbitrary environment rather than being protected from it, right? In order to, you know, to properly avoid running afoul of the arbitrary authorities in a slave environment, one has to be developmentally brought into how you navigate below the radar, how you, you know, how you play that game. And so anyway, you would expect the parenting to look very different. And, you know, this idea that childhood is, you know, a uh, a joyous time where you should be free of all of those adult influences is exactly wrong. It's prep. It's preparation. So, um, though now, if we take this model that I think you and I are agreeing on here about the fact that the, and I, I like your point here, um, that there are three stages. You've got I assert my identity independent of the world, then the world and I negotiate over what my actual identity is, and then I'm not an apprentice anymore and I get to be who I am in the adult world, having been informed by that process. And you imagine that you've got generations now, one and a half of them maybe, for whom the online environment was so compelling and so much the source of most of their affirmation that its rules have become sacrosanct to them. And those rules really do look like, you know, there it's a it's a childish world, right? You join some community of people, you tell them who you are. There are rules about them having to respect who you've told them. You know, it is if I say I'm Pocahontas, who are you to say I'm not, right? And um, that, in some ways, well, the answer to that question in the real world is, I'm someone you have to get along with in repeated interactions. But that may not be the case at all online. That constraint's right. gone. To, you can just pick up and move to the next community.